raises the question, are human clones truly the same as human beings born under natural childbirth? Do they have less or more of what we have? I think one of the greatest opportunities presented to us by the ability to clone a human being is exactly how it is done. By creating a clone, we have the ability to choose exactly what characteristics the human will have. By manipulating genotypes, we can choose the phenotypes. In other words, one can essentially create the perfect human being. Now that I think about it, it would be really cool having my daughter the way I'd want her to be. Well, I always want to have a daughter. And she could have green eyes, olive skin, beautiful hair. She'd have everything. She'd be smart and beautiful. And she'd make more money than me because she'll be brains and beauty. That'd be really cool. And obviously I'd want her to have a good sense of humor. All that stuff would be great. By cloning humans, parents who want to have kids, infertile or not, can choose exactly what characteristics their child will have. The child can be artistic, outgoing, good with their hands. A parent can create a designer child. They're still humans, just the best possible version. We're essentially creating supreme society. Supreme society indeed, but could these perfect humans be too radical? We're playing God. It's the same as when a woman has an abortion or when a doctor decides it's time to pull the plug of a man on life support. It's wrong. It's unnatural. It's just creating a perfect human being is worse than playing God. We're playing the devil. For what? For going against the will of God. For going against his forbidden rules of old. Walking on the moon. The Catechism of the Catholic Church states, The act which brings a child into existence must be one by which two persons give themselves to one another. It must not be an act which entrusts the life and identity of the embryo into the power of doctors and biologists and establish the domination of technology over the origin and destiny of the human person. Such a relationship of dominion is in itself contrary to the dignity and equality that must be common to parents and children. Scientists think they can create a human being through technology, but can they create a soul? Can this clone really develop human emotions? The way the Catholic Church sees it, if God doesn't assist with the creation of human being, it is not a human being. Only God can give a man his soul. Oh, hey guys. I'm okay. I blacked out and woke up in some weird lab, but I'm fine now. Oh, hey guys. I'm okay. I blacked out and woke up. Oh, crap. No, they're a bitch to clean up when they explode. Ethically, people argue that cloning is wrong. But what about medically? Scientists strongly believe that the ability to clone a human being has opened up the most important door of all, a medical breakthrough. Cancer, probably the most infamous disease in modern society today, can essentially be cured if we understand the differentiation between cells. This is now possible thanks to Advances in My brother told me there's a way to reverse someone's age that they discovered it. What was the doctor's name again? Dr. Richard C. And so the doctors learned how to, through cloning, learned how to reverse someone's age by reversing the DNA. So that sounds pretty good to me. I'm up for that. With all these medical advancements, from curing or preventing diseases to discovering the fountain of youth, Surely nobody can impose these life-changing discoveries. Clone beings are given just as much of a chance at life as humans born under natural conditions and even more. They have any desired phenotypes chosen for them by the parents and they still face the same challenges, go to the same schools and live the same lives as any ordinary human being. Parents have the power to create the perfect child. Under what conditions are these clones born? The parents are choosing these traits, but science is forgetting that it's not the parents that have the right to have the children. It's children having the right to have parents. Reverend Jesse Sharpton refers to the Catechism of the Catholic Church reading, A child is not something owed to one, but is a gift, 
the supreme gift of marriage is a human person. A child may not be considered a piece of property, an idea to which an alleged right to a child would lead. In this area, only the child possesses genuine rights. The right to be the fruit of a specific act of the conjugal love of his parents, and the right to be respected as a person from the moment of conception. Yes, the parents are creating the perfect child, but now this child has set character traits. By being cloned with these particular selective characteristics, he becomes deprived of the freedom of being a child of God. People have been in conflict about the ethics of human cloning for many years, and this battle for the truth will not halt any time soon. Scientists continue to search for these answers to the possible medical and social breakthroughs. The future is unclear, but through the eyes of scientists, there is great hope for a good one. Dolly the Sheep was the first animal clone. As far as we know, the first human remains a mystery.